Hello everyone, my name is J1 Park. I'm going to give you a brief overview of the functionality of ICLIS in MCVT. The main topics of this discussion are the role of ICLIS with respect to the interior habitat system, the components of ICLIS, and the damageability implemented in the current iteration. ICLIS is responsible for maintaining the well-being of the crew members in an extraterrestrial habitat environment. As for the MCVT integration, ICLIS maintains physical variables such as temperature, pressure, humidity, oxygen level, and others. Here, for the scope of this video's discussion, we will only look at the thermal aspect of ICLIS. Therefore, ICLIS only needs to keep the temperature value in the interior habitat system to a certain level that will be preferable to the human crews. Interaction between ICLIS and the interior habitat system takes place in a very simple manner. ICLIS receives temperature measurement information from the interior habitat system and compares that to the set point temperature. Assuming that it has a sufficient power supply, ICLIS will provide cooling to the habitat if the measured temperature is higher than the set point temperature and will provide heating if the measured temperature is lower than the set point temperature. Let's take a closer look at how this cooling and heating are modeled for ICLIS based on physics. For cooling, a simple heat pump cycle with basic four components is implemented inside the code. On the evaporator side, a heat exchanger will absorb heat from the air which circulates through the habitat. Following the heat pump loop, the absorbed heat will be transferred to the condenser side heat exchanger. Here, the heat is taken by the heat transfer fluid in another loop and delivered to the radiator field where it gets rejected to the external environment by radiation. As the heat rejection capacity of the radiator panels can vary depending on the radiator panel conditions and environmental conditions such as solar radiation, the overall performance of the entire cycle will change accordingly. For heating, a simple electrical resistance heater is implemented in the code. In order to study performance degradation due to damaged components, Two types of damage on a single component radiator panel are considered. The considered types of damage include thermal paint degradation and dust accumulation on the surface of the panels due to external events such as meteorite impact and um, rocket launch. Radiator panels with degraded paint surface will radiate less energy but instead absorb more from the environment. This situation is reflected in the code by reducing the emissivity and increasing absorptivity parameter of the radiator panels. On the other hand, dust accumulation will cover the surface of the radiator panels regardless of whether there is a paint degradation or not. Additionally, it adds an extra layer of thickness to the radiator panel, resulting in less effective heat conduction through the depth of the radiator panels. This behavior is reflected in the code by changing the absorptivity and emissivity parameters to those of lunar dust as well as adding a thickness of the dust layer with lunar dust conductivity. Thank you for listening.